Now, first things first, you know, in this sector, the alpha sphere that is our domain, our, our specific domain that was created for us, the men of the alpha sphere. Our mantra is there is no alpha without God. So the first reason we don't get a lot of women is because being a man of God gives you a true understanding of your value. If you're not a man of God, you don't understand your true value. That's how a man who's not a man of God can get caught up in a 50-50 relationship. That's how a man who's not a man of any time you got caught up in a 50 50 relationship with a woman or expectation for a woman to be a queen or be this gift that you thought she was going to be and you trusted her and you loved her and you fell in love with her and you thought she was going to reciprocate it, it was because you wasn't a man of God. Ever since you've been a man of God, you ain't never got caught up in that because God gives you a sense of discernment. And the first things he gives you is an understanding of who you are as a spiritual man. If you're a man of God, bro, if you honor the most high, then you are understanding of your value to God. Not to the world, not to women. You don't need the validation of a woman because you have the validation of the most high. Considering you above all other animals on the earth. Including the woman. See, when you're a man of the most high brother, you understand your value and you know that you're above women. Now I hear a lot of guys saying, well, you, it ain't right to say women, ain't, women are beneath you. It ain't right to say this. See, that's pandering. That's high pocket pandering. We don't do no high pocket pandering. There's God, there's us, and then there's woman. That's just the way God made it. We don't have to shy away from that because even the woman knows God made it that way. That's why she has so conveniently said that, well, God is a woman then. Yeah, right. Sure. When you understand that women were created to serve alpha kings, notice I didn't say alpha males, alpha kings from this day forward our distinction will not be alpha males we will let everyone else be alpha males our distinction will be alpha kings because as men of the most high as men who honor the most high as men who honor and respect and do everything in our power to keep the statutes and commandments of the most high we are kings we are considered kings by god the only kings are the men who honor the most high all of us are not kings so from this point forward we will be the alpha kings and when you understand that women were created to serve alpha kings, you can never in good masculine faith, in good alpha faith, being of sound alpha mind and body, serve, chase or cater to them because they were put here to serve and cater us, cater to us. And that's just the reality of the situation. It was written. We don't make these things up over here. It was written. See, we have been raised in a society that wants men to be under the illusion that maybe it's possible that God is a woman. Maybe the woman is so powerful that, that it's okay for you to be beneath her. It's okay for you to serve her. It's okay for you to chase her like she's the prize. It's okay for you to treat her like she's this thing that, okay, she's not a prize. She was a gift from God. And look how that turned out. She's not even a gift anymore. Eve ruined that. See, we have to stop thinking that she is what she was created to be. We know what she was created to be, but what has she become? She doesn't even deserve to serve. This is where that 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 what this is where they start calling us narcissists and you know all of these things. This is where this talk comes in that well, you think it's all about you. No, I think it's all about God. That's why I keep referencing this word. When you understand that women were created to serve alpha kings, you can never in good masculine faith serve, chase, or cater to them. And I'll tell you something else. That's why we prefer quality over quantity. Let me tell y'all something right now. And to the men who are not aware of this mindset, it's going to sound really, really weird. But you got to understand this. If a woman goes... And she's with this man, that man, this man, that man. She does not deserve to be in the presence of an alpha king. Kings, just think, let's look at a kingdom. The king lives in the castle. People just can't roll up and say, I guess I'm going to go see the king today. This is where he got a revolving door. You just come in and see the king whenever you get ready. No, you got to see the king by appointment. And you got to be of a certain stature to see the king. The peasants don't get to just go see the king. The peasants see the king when he's coming and going through the city. On his way to and fro. 
in and out of the castle. What is our castle? It is our spirit. Any man who uses the power and strength of the Most High to contain his spirit, to contain his lust, to maintain an essence, an aura of spirituality, of spiritual morality. His spirit is a kingdom. His spirit is a castle. And what do we look like letting any old woman come to our castle? The peasant woman can't come to the castle unless she's going to the dungeon. Another reason that us alpha kings don't have a whole lot of women or get a whole lot of sex is because alpha kings don't code approach. So we don't have the luxury of padding our numbers by counting the hundreds of women who reject us as a positive. We don't get to say rejection makes you a man. No, God makes you a man. You only need rejection. How lowly are you if you need rejection to make you feel like a man? Not rejection from God, rejection from a woman. You guys are being rejected from God and you worried, and you worried about being rejected from a woman. You taking it to mean that you are an amazing man because you are willing to be rejected by a woman. How are you going to be willing to be rejected by that, by that which is beneath you? That's the equivalent of you telling your son, hey, boy, go do this. He said, dad ain't doing a damn thing. You won't let your son get away with rejecting you, but you're going to let some woman get away with rejecting you. And then you're going to embrace it and treat it like it's a positive thing because you're not a king. You know you're not a king. Man, you're a peasant. That's why you need money and cars and status and clothes to make you feel good about yourself. You didn't have the confidence to even walk around with the same mentality that you do right now before you had that stuff. You felt like less than a man. You want to compete with men in the way that women compete with men. Women compete with cars, money, careers, and all of that. What separates you from a woman with a Benz? What separates you from a woman with a Bentley? What separates you from a woman with a million dollars? What separates you from a woman with nothing? Because you don't understand the essence of who you are as a man. That's why when women reject you, they make you strong. No. If you deal with something long enough, you're going to become numb to it. Just because you're numb to rejection don't make you a man. It makes you more of a fool than it does a man. That means you've dealt with so much rejection that you become immune to it. You don't even wrap your mind around the concept of what you're accepting. You're accepting rejection from that which is beneath you. And you brag about it. We are different over here. We don't function along those same lines. We don't think those same things. We don't embrace those same idiotic ideologies. It's not our thing. But if it's your thing, fine, my brother. If that's what you want to do, fine. Do that. It's a wonderful thing for you. For us, not so much. You ever seen a king go out to a peasant and say, hey, good sir. You think you can pay your taxes? You think you can pay your dues to the king today, sir? If you can't, it's okay. Here's my number. Just call me when you can. Mr. Baby, get out of my face. I ain't, I'm not interested. Well, okay, okay. And the king just go back to the castle. Nah, man. That's not the proper way for a man to think unless he's just a man. And I know some beta males say, man, John, they're going to say, well, we are way over there telling men that they better than other men. All men are not equal. I want y'all to understand that now. All men are not equal. That's why when you go to work, your boss pay the cost and you do what you told because all men are not equal. If you go to church, that's why the pastor in the pulpit and you sitting down there putting your money in the collection plate go in his pocket when it come around. Why? Because all men are not equal. All men are not even created equal. The son of a king is more valuable than the son of a peasant. So how do you, in the mind of a king, tell yourself that I'm going to go out here, I'm going to chase this woman. She's so amazing, she's so valuable to me that I'm going to chase her. And the thing is, you're not even chasing her to get anything from her that has value. You're not even chasing her to get anything from her that has value. You're chasing her to get sex. You're chasing her to get the one thing she has that has no value. You're chasing her to get the one thing that, that it's, the what, man, listen, bro. It's the one thing on her body that can give you AIDS or herpes or, or, or whatever else. It's the one. Th Come on, bro. You're going to chase her for that. And then you tell yourself, well, that's all I need from her. Like, like that makes it more positive. That's all I need from her is the one thing she has that doesn't have value. No, that's the only thing you can get from her. Because that's how peasants think. 
Let me catch up with these super, super chats, man, before they get away from me here. Let's take a quick recess right here, man. Let me get into these super chats. Pac-Man, appreciate $3 super chat. Let's get it, Doc, for sure, bro. Let's do this. Dennis Bryant, man, appreciate $10 super chat, bro. Say great quote. We must use quality over quantity. It's better. It's just better. Thanks, BOA. Salute to you, bro. That's, that's the best way to view life, man. Playlist. Appreciate the, I think it's 610, man. Appreciate, appreciate the super chat, bro. I, I can't even, I don't know what currency it is, but I appreciate it, man. It's, it's pretty close to our currency equation, though. The world's meeting interested man. The world's most interesting man. Appreciate the $5 super chat, bro. Keep dropping them jewels. Salute to you, bro. I appreciate it. DJ Ferg, appreciate the $25 super chat, bro. Appreciate you being in the joint. Don King, appreciate the $20 super chat, homie. Appreciate you being in the joint. Samuel N., appreciate the $7 Canadian. How do you get closer to God and improve your relationship with God? You got to apply those statutes and commandments. Men ask that a lot. You got to change the way you live your life. You have to stop living a life for the world and start living a life that's pleasing to the most high. That's the only way to get close to him. You, you don't have to get close to him. You start doing that, he'll get close to you. There is no way to get closer to God. You can't get closer to God. You do what's necessary for him to come closer to you. You ain't you you, you gotta you gotta get close, you gotta live a life where you feel the spirit of God engulf you. You gotta live a life where the spirit of God engulfs you. He's right where you are right now. But for you to feel the spirit engulf you, you got to impress him. Why yeah, why these guys out here trying to impress women? It serves you better to, to impress God. It serves you a lot better. Spiritual Hulk. Spiritual Logic, a.k.a. Hulk. What's up, Hulk? Appreciate the $5 super chat, homie. Homie say salute, BOA, men first. Dropping gems. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate it. Immune. Appreciate the $2 super chat, man. Bro, so I had to donate spin Jews. I need this. GMV, my brother, was good, man. Appreciate the $20 super chat. Bro, say we are here, brother. Salute to the Alpha Sphere. Hashtag men first all day, brother. Y'all know what to do, man. If you ain't if you ain't rocking with G, you need to be over there, man. I fell through on him in the night before the show, man. He had a barn burner going over there. Willie Beeman, appreciate the $10 super chat, brother. Um said, Dr. B O A, you are really, you're really a real one. This channel has been a great blessing. Shout out to the whole Alpha Sphere. Salute to you, brother. Hashtag men first. Real talk. Marcus Red Pilius. Appreciate the $10 super chat. 100 flames. Salute to you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. C Rob, appreciate the $2 super chat, bro. Say guy first point blank. Salute. Real talk, man. All day, every day. Cool Rob, my brother, was good, man. Appreciate the $10 super chat. Salute, BOA. Salute to you as well, brother. See, this is the main thing, man. We are not under this idiotic illusion that being rejected by a woman enhances our alpha energy. We're not under this idiotic illusion that she has so much value that accepting her rejection makes us have more value. We're not under the illusion that she is in a position to logically and reasonably reject us. To accept rejection from that which is beneath you, you have to, in turn, really believe in your mind that you are beneath that. You understand what I'm saying? You have to lower yourself so far in order to have a positive outlook on accepting the rejection of someone who was put here to serve you. This is the thing. Just because she's not playing the role she was put here to play does not mean that you lower your standards and accept something for her that she was not here to do. How are you willing to do that? We are not willing to do that over here. We don't run up and say, OK, I'm going to accept her rejection because, you know, I know she's beneath me, but she don't want to play that game. So whatever game she want to play, I'm going to play. Play in your game, baby. Yo, game, baby. Just you and me. Playing your game, baby. Yo, game, baby. Nobody but you and me. Bear White in the joint, man. You see, the bottom line is this, man. The difference between being a man who has elevated himself spiritually to where he needs to be and the average man is that we even if you have gone through this before now at this point as you embrace your spiritual awareness and your spiritual place with the most high you understand our self-esteem is not shot because of some perceived pain left over from trying to be with the wrong woman in the first place how are you in pain still 
from trying to be with the wrong woman in the first place. You should be overjoyed. You have been delivered. Man, you dodged a bullet. How are you in pain for dodging a bullet like you got shot? You didn't get shot. You dodged the bullet. So our self-esteem is not shot because of some perceived pain left over from trying to be with the wrong woman and falling in love with her in the first place. We're not searching for some interaction with women that will eventually make us break even on that pain. You know, that's how women, that's how women think. Women, they, they, they try to do enough things to where they eventually break even on the pain. You know what I'm saying? It's like you with a woman and you tell her it's just you and her and then you cheat on her and then she go cheat on you and then she cheat on you again and she keep doing it until she feel like she breaks even on the pain. That's how guys think. Guys are thinking like females out here. They're doing things from an emotional perspective and that's the bottom line. And this is another thing. Either you're chasing this many women, doing this many things, ha having all these low quality women. Because I'm going to tell you like this. If you sleep with 50 women, there aren't. you don't know 50 high quality women. High quality women, just like alpha males, are spread all over the world. None of us knows 50 alpha males in our city. None of us does. No man on this platform knows 50 alpha males in his city. So how you think you know 50 quality females in your city? 500 quality females in your city. You're accepting low quality females and just because they dress themselves up nice, you're thinking that you got high quality. When you're so shallow that you that you de determine a woman's quality by how she appears, even though we know they were fake this, fake that, fake this, fake this and fake that. And the women who have natural beauty, those aren't even the women that guys want. You show me a naturally beautiful woman man who wears a hair naturally man. Most of these guys wouldn't deal with a woman man who got locks. They'll take a woman with a weave for they'll take a woman with locks. Left the door open today, man. Them skeeters in here, man. They wearing me out too. Trying to do the show, boy. They they knocking me off. I'm telling you. So again, we're not searching for some interaction with women, whether we treat them bad or we use them or we just or we treat them all like sex or we or whatever we have to do. You need to do that when you don't have a relationship with God. You need to find another way to deal with the things that you have left over from those scenarios. When you don't know how to build yourself up spiritually and then you still find yourself trapped in your emotional weakness. And that's what a lot of men are dealing with. They find themselves trapped in their emotional weakness. Either that or they're afraid of falling for a woman. So they just keep running through and running through and running through. And my thing is this. How does that benefit you as a man? It's certainly not anything to brag about. Now, let me, let me say this, man, because I know some beta males say, man, Johnny, going to come in here and say, B.O.A., sounds like you don't even like women. Hey, man, listen, we love women, but we love ourselves so much more. That a woman is going to have to earn our presence. That's the main thing with us over here. Our presence is so valuable to us. I'm offended when a woman doesn't value my presence. That means she ain't got no sense. And if a woman ain't got no sense, she sure ain't got no spiritual awareness. And she ain't good enough to be around me, brother. She can't be around me. I'm not going to accept her. I'm not going to accept a woman who has that mindset. I will not. She will not be around me. She will not be in my presence. She will not talk to me on the phone. She will not text me. She will not do none of that. She won't have access to me. I'm that valuable where she got to earn access to me. I'm that valuable. I talk about when you strip down all the money, all the, I got a little paper. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I got a few things going on, but I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about when you strip all of that down and you got just the essence of a man. I put myself against any man on the planet. Put a, put, put a thousand men in the room together. I bet I come out of that boy in the top 10. Maybe top five. Hell, wouldn't be surprised if I come out number one. When we're talking about just the character of a man, the essence of a man, the essence of masculinity, the spiritual aspect of the most high. When you put me in a room, man, with a whole bunch of men and strip everything else down, man, and you just gauge us as men, the quality of men we are, I guarantee you, I don't care how many men you find out of there, I'm going to come out in the top 10. You mean tell me a woman, a woman don't have to pay for what she wait to get that in her presence? Yes, she does. Tiffany Maloney, appreciate the $2 super chat, bro. Bro, say great content, man. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate it. Paper Ralph Sam, appreciate the $5 super chat, homie. Bro, say straight up sizzling, man. I appreciate you being a true alpha for a youngster like me to look up to dog for sure. Ain't no doubt, Paper. I see you, man. Appreciate it. The Sincere One, appreciate the $3 super chat, man. Anthony Spade is in the building, man. Appreciate the $20 super chat, brother. I say preach, big bro. Salute to you, A Spade. Hey, man, I know y'all already rocking with Spade, man, but if you ain't, man, go ahead over there, man. You know what I'm saying? Brother has a very entertaining show there, man. Some wonderful topics, man. And uh, I mean, he got his own flower on that thing, too, man. So y'all go over there and subscribe to the brother A Spade, man. YMC, appreciate the $10 super chat, man. YMC doing 
triple duty up in the joint man appreciate it brown hundred nineteen seventy five doing double duty as well man i appreciate the super chat brothers so you know what we have to understand is this man there's more to us than our lust for women there's more to us than our emotional attachment to women much more to us that's like at the bottom of the totem pole see let me tell you another thing that happens out here man you can't tell guys to about women 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 and then turn around and tell them oh wait a minute i forgot to tell you no don't focus on women you got to get yourself right first it's too late once you get a man focused on sex man especially a young man man with his libido out of control like that my libido crunk as hell now but i can control it you know what i'm saying at 20 21 hey man it's a rare is a rare brother that can control his libido man that's why at that age, man, you're more likely to be in a relationship because you need, you, you need that steady. You need that steady hot pocket, man. But when you tell guys to, you know, women, 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 go, go chase them, go get them. This is how you get them. And then you turn around and tell them, wait a minute. Oh, you can't get no women because you ain't got your stuff together. Now, you got him torn already trying to chase women. So, man, I can't tell you how many guys I had hit me up, man. They live at home with their mama, man, talking about what they're supposed to do to get women. Get your own place first. Get you a whip. What you mean? Why are you even worrying about women? Because we live in a society, man, where every man believes that getting women makes you a man. Not, not every man. Every man don't even believe that. The most successful men among us, they actually have wives. The majority of the most successful men among us, they either have wives or they have women in that position. When you really think about it, Diddy was the only man that was openly, that openly had two women. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Kim Porter, the mother of his children, she was... You know what I'm saying? That was his woman. And Cassie was his and Cassie was his jump off. You know, until she got to the point where she started seeing that wall, she was like, oh no, I will I will be anybody's woman. I don't have time to be a jump off no more. I gotta be somebody's woman. And so she she married the trainer. She got with the trainer. You know what I'm saying? The guy who has no, I mean, just a normal guy because that wall was coming. And she knew, she saw, she knew that once Kim Porter passed, Diddy still wasn't gonna put her in that position. And so she said, I'm gone. That's exactly what happened. I'm telling you what happened. I watched it unfold. Did it don't have to tell me what happened. I'm a pimp. I saw it happen. That woman thought she was going to move in that position. She started finding off and getting that position. But once I'm telling you what happened, she saw how distraught that man was over that woman. She said, oh, I ain't never getting in that position. That man was in love with that woman. I can't compete with that. I'm not on her level. I was willing to be a side chick. But the, most of these guys, man, most of these successful guys, man, they have wives. Because they ain't got time to chase no women. They had listen, man. They had their scenarios. They had their little Hollywood parties, and they had their little they had a little billionaire boys club parties and all that. But for the most part, man, those guys are not out here chasing women. When you situated, you don't have to chase women. All you got to do is say we're gonna be here, and guess what? The women are trying to get there. What do you think happens All Star Weekend in NBA? Those guys got paper. What happens when they? What happens? All you got to do is tell them where All Star Weekend at, and the women gonna flock there. That's all you got to do. Tell them what a the Super Bowl is going to be at. All the women flock there. Tell them what a the BET Award is going to be at. All the women flock there. That's just what happens. When they just had the Ozone Awards, all the hood rat chicks, all the bad hood rat chicks flock there. The women are going to be where the guys who got paper at. So why are we sitting wasting all this time focusing on women instead of focusing on our paper? Because if you focus on your paper, the women are going to fall in your lap. Put your paper in your pocket and the women are going to fall in your lap. I promise you that. That's another reason we don't we don't go out here trying to get as many women as we can. Why? Spend that time getting more money and then the women just going to come to you. If you got your money situated, man, and you're in a position you don't want to be in in life, heading in the proper direction, you should be turning down way more women than you getting. How you how you chasing women when you should be turning down more women than you getting? It's not the world we live in, man. It's a fantasy world that guys create. T fit man appreciate the fit of all the sponsorship homie bro said when you enter the room the mandatory fee is pressing that like button that's the green label gang salute everyone else that's the least you could do for knowledge real talk brother real talk listen to what the brother t fit said man hit that thumbs up man we we, we ain't even got half capacity on the likes man you know what i'm saying and, and you know what this is good content i mean it, this is quality content and don't you think so i think this is great i think this is great content it's quality content the least it deserves is a like. The Real Devo, appreciate the $5 super chat. I'm going to say, man, nothing but facts. Dr. B.O.A. 100. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. 
See, what we what we got to keep in mind is this, man. You can't value something that she's been given to lesser men her whole life. If I got paper, I don't want it if she's been giving it to broke dudes. If I'm a man who's spiritually aware and doing everything in my power to have a positive relationship with the most high, I don't want if she's been giving the dudes to have no moral compass. I don't want it if she's been giving it to dudes that still have to overcome things that I've already overcome. I'm out here grinding like a fool. I don't want if she give it to a lazy dude. It's beneath me at that point. It's beneath you at that point, brothers. See, the real deal is this. That thing don't deserve my touch. If it's been touched by dudes that I wouldn't keep company with. You understand? If I if, if these type of dudes ain't on my level and them type of dudes you've been with, I, I can't do it. For whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? If I see a dude, a woman been with, man, and I feel like that dude ain't on my level, I don't want that. If she's willing to give it to him, she beneath me. I don't want nothing that dude done had, man. I don't want nothing that dude done had, man. You know, it's like going to a dealership. It's like you get your money up, you about to go get you a Lambo. You understand? You go get a huge Lambo. It's 2020, you go get a 2000, 2013 Lambo. Man, you might well get a least a less expensive car and get you one that's has that that at least is is in has a warranty on it. It's the same principle. You can't value a 2013 Lambo the same way you value a 2020 Lambo. You can't. I don't even know if they made a 2020 Lambo, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. You can't value the the 19, you know, the the, the 2011 vet the same way you value the 2020 vet. You can't do it. But that's what guys are doing. Guys are giving all hot pocket the same value. All hot pocket the same value. How? How can you give childless hot pocket the same value as multiple children hot pocket? How? How can you give young tender hot pocket the same value as worn out hot pocket? How? How can you give good girl hot pocket the same value as thought hot pocket? How can you do that? It's because you're being led by your lust. It don't matter to you. As long as you get a chance to wet your willy, you good. You just trying to, you just trying to you put your wee-wee somewhere. That's all. It don't even matter to you. We don't think like that over here. That's not how we function. So, you know, man, this is the thing, man. I'm going to tell you what the real problem is. And a lot of guys, man, man, BOA, man. I, I had somebody come in and come in and say, I like to see what kind of women. I like to see what kind of women BOA have sex with. I like to see what kind of women, you know, what kind of, now actually he said what kind of BOA I cut. What kind of women I cut. I was like, Quality women, women who get it, women who understand their place, women who understand that they do have a place, women who bend over backwards to prove themselves worthy of the presence of a man that they know has value. Those types of women. What type of women do you cut? The type of women who ain't got nothing but some cut. And if you're cool with that, fine. Listen. Every man doesn't have to live by these by, by, by these rules of this mantra or, or this outlook. Every man doesn't have to do this. I don't make content for every man. I make content for the alpha sphere. And so if you don't like what's going on over here, fine. I don't make content for you. I only make content for my supporters. I don't make content for, for just once you become a supporter, I make content for you. I make content for the people that already support me. I don't make content for I'm not trying to lure new people in. So, I mean, if this ain't your thing, fine. But this is our thing. This is our thing. And that's why we blessed with the strength to not get now, caught up. Now, let me tell y'all something, man. And this is going to put some guys out looking in the proper perspective. See, some of us got enough positive interaction from women and sexual submission from bodies when we were younger. On up until we just, it just didn't have no value to us anymore that we got burnt out on a mental hiccup that makes us continue to value that which has no true value. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. If you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s, 
and you still place that kind of value on sex, boy, you got an empty head. I guarantee you got an empty head. I, you just got an empty head. You ain't got no sense. If you still value sex, it's either you got a, it's either you got an empty head or you just got to the point where you don't have an empty bed. There's no way that you've been having, like, I mean, tremendous luck, tr tremendous luck or tremendous interaction, positive interaction with men or women, man, ever since you were, like, in high school or college or whatever, man, and now you're 30, 40, 50 years old, man, you still place that kind of value on it, bro. Ain't no way. It just ain't no way. Because as you grow and start to do other things in life, then you start to understand where true value is. In college, sex has so much value, man. I mean, listen, man. College has so much, man, sex has so much value. Women have so much value because you ain't got nothing. Everything that you got is an ideal. It's a vision. It's a dream. It's a goal. Once you start accomplishing things in life and you understand what true value is, once you, and this is, and this ain't even a big amount. Once you sit down, man, and you count your first hundred thousand dollars, man, I'm talking about, and, and I'm, what you're talking about on the way to being a multimillionaire. When you count your first hundred thousand dollars, man, your outlook on sex changes. Your outlook on sex changes if you already have value. See, let me tell you something. There's two kind of men. There's two kind of changes that money makes in men. Money takes a man who didn't have any value in his own mind before that. And he attaches his value to the money. So when you attach your value to the money, the first thing you think about is women. You're like, okay, I couldn't get no women before because I didn't have no value. Now I have value. So now I can get women. That's not how we think. That's not how an alpha king thinks. I don't know how an alpha male thinks. I don't really know. I don't know how alpha guy. I don't know how alpha dude. I don't know. I know how alpha king thinks. Now how alpha king thinks is that I already had value. I view women now the same way I always had them. I've been, I've been dealing with women like this before I had paper. I've always dealt with women like this. This is just the way I deal with women. Because this is the only way to deal with them successfully. Now you have the other guy, when he get paper, he look at paper and be like, man, I ain't got no more time to waste, man, chasing no women. You know, I done figured out how to get to the paper. Once you figure out how to get to the paper, you ain't got no time to waste on women. That's why billionaires become billionaires because they ain't got no time to waste on women. You think it's a game when they say, man, you can you can lose a lot of money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money. That's real, bro. But some men never had any value in themselves. And if you didn't have any value in yourself and now you got value because you got money, you still don't have no value in yourself. You have value in the money. You have value in the money. And that, listen, bro, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not knocking a man who has value in the money. Any value beats no value. But you got to understand why you're so caught up in chasing women, because your value is in the money. If your value is in your, in, in your essence as a man, then you know women don't have nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? If you have high value in yourself as a man, as an individual man, in your masculinity, in, 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 your, in your, your moral fiber, you know, in your ability to overcome issues, in your ability to, to outthink certain issues and overcome obstacles. If you have value in that, then a woman has nothing to do with that. A woman can't give you no value because all of those things are more valuable than women. Overcoming obstacles, man, is way more valuable than anything a woman could ever give you. Digging yourself out of the dirt, digging, I'm talking about, man, getting it out the mud, pulling yourself up by the bootstraps, man, and making something out of yourself, man, that nobody believed you could, that's way more valuable than anything a woman can give you. So if you've done that and you still value women, you got some soul searching to do, bro. You got some soul searching to do because there's no way you should be finding that type of value in women's validation. See, let me tell you something about us, man. Alpha kings don't do validation. There's two kinds of validation and alpha kings don't do either one of them. The first kind of validation is type of validation where you need validation from a woman. You need it. You need that pretty woman to say she like you. You need that pretty woman to give you her number. You need some of this. You need that. You need that. And the crazy thing is if you need her validation so much that you can ignore the fact that a hundred women didn't give you that validation. If you value women so much that one woman saying yes is more valuable to you than a hundred women saying no, man, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. You know what, man? Let's have a moment of silence for this boy common sense. All right. Boy has no common sense, man. See, listen, let me tell y'all something, man. I'm not saying women don't have any value. I'm saying they're not that valuable. 
where you should put them on a pedestal as something that gives you great validation. They're not that valuable. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the modern time. I mean, they, in, in the modern days, they don't want to be valuable to me. A woman don't want to be valuable to you. She just want to be able to control you with the hot pocket. She don't want to be valuable to you. She thinks she's valuable just because she's a woman, brother. So, and like I said, man, we're absolutely adverse to both forms of validation. The other form of validation is where you validate her. I hear guys saying all the time, well, if you don't validate women, you're not going to have no luck with them. Man, I don't need no luck with women. What do you think this is? We ain't at the casino. We ain't playing no blackjack. I don't need no luck with women. Then women need luck with me. I'm the prize. I'm the man of God. I'm the man that brings the most high spirit into her life. Why the hell do I need to chase luck with her? We alpha kings over here, man. We don't chase no luck with no woman. Luck with a man in this day and age, luck with a woman, man, is avoiding them for real. You want to talk about luck with a woman? We ain't worrying about no luck with no woman, man. We ain't about having no good luck with no chicks, man. Giving our strength away, man, to women, man, who don't even appreciate the strength. Giving our intestinal fortitude away to, who, to women who don't even appreciate the 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 the, 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 the the scope of intestinal fortitude. Giving our spiritual essence away to women who don't even respect spirituality. They respect religion. Why would we do such a thing? That's real talk, man. We're absolutely averse to both forms of validation. See, the difference between us and normal men, regular men, is we don't take women's shit or their shit test. I had a, I had a, um, Cat hit me up today, man, and my DM, man. Tell my man, the chick, he tell her to call him when she get here, and she don't. Tell her to call him when she get there, she say she is, she don't. My couple of other things, man. He and I were put on ice a few times. I'm like, man, bro, you wasting time. You wasting time. Man, bro, I'm not taking, I'm not taking no shit off no woman, bro, ever. I ain't got to get mad at her. I ain't, I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't trying to correct her. I ain't trying to do nothing. Women know better. I'm not trying to correct no woman, bro. I'm not going to correct her. I'm going to correct her with two. I'm going to put on ice twice. I'm going to put on ice the first time, three to five days. I prefer five. Second time, I'm going to put on ice for a month. After that, it's a wrap. Once I put on ice for a month, man, she got one time to say anything out the way, man, and it's over. It's permanent ice. I ain't take, I'm not taking nothing off no woman because this is the thing. The more you take off a woman, the more you get a sign from God that that woman ain't meant to be in your life. That's what you have to understand. The more crap you got to take from a woman, the more you're being showed by the most high that woman ain't meant to be in your life. But guys continue to just take the crap over and over and over and over and over again. They just continue to just keep on taking it. Keep on just, you know, sitting there. I'm going to try to correct her. I'm going to try to fix her. I'm going to make her change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, nah, man. Nah. This, you man, being with me is a prestigious position for a woman to be in a very prestigious position because if a woman earns a position in my life man i'm very attentive bro i'm very attentive i'm very assertive i'm very aggressive i'm a hell of a teacher i'm a patient teacher if she's willing to learn and she's trying to learn i'm a patient teacher i'm an effective instructor you understand i'm a hell of a life tour guide you know what i'm saying i'm a boss backbreaker I'm a hell of a coach when she's doing everything in her power to give me pleasure. I'm a hell of a coach. You know what I'm saying? I'm, listen, bro, when it all boiled down to it, and I got a little paper. When it all boiled down to it, man, I'm the best a woman can do. A woman can't do no better than me. You know, unless you get in a superficial thing where you ain't 6'9". I'd be like, you right, I ain't 6'9", Shawty. You know what I'm saying? I ain't 6'9". But other than that, I'm the best thing a woman can hope for, man. A woman can't, get, a woman can't ask for no better than me. You are great. Appreciate you joining the Alpha family, brother. Welcome to the Green Label Gang. Salute. Nine times. Appreciate the $10 super chat, bro. So your channel is truly inspiring. Keep spitting that fire. Salute to you, the Mod Squad in the chat. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you being in the joint, man. Welcome to the Alpha Sphere, homie. Elijah A., appreciate you joining the Alpha family, bro. Welcome to the Alpha Sphere. Salute to you, man. Amizi, what's good with you, bro? Appreciate the $15 super chat. Amizi doing double duty in the, in the joint, man. Double support. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. AW, appreciate the $15 super chat. Thank you. Salute to you, bro. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate the super chat, man. So, and you know, and that's one of the main things, man. You know, when I hear talking about, man, how you get, how you pass a woman shit test, bro, I don't even understand the logic 
of a woman. I don't understand the logic of her test. Like, what test can she give me? You know what I'm saying? What test can she give me to test to see if I'm going to chase her when she already let me know that she don't want me like that? You should never want a woman who don't want you. You should never chase a woman, even one that wants you. Because a woman that wants you, you ain't got to chase her. See, we don't play games where women, where, where, women control, where women control the rules. Women control the rules of the dating game. They control the rules of it. And so we don't let women lead us. And when you play a game that women control the rules, you're letting them lead you. Whatever women say goes in the dating game, it goes in the dating game. Guys follow women lead in the dating game. They just let women tell them where to go, tell them how things are supposed to be, tell them how things are going to work out, and the guys just go along with it. I'm not letting no woman lead me nowhere. If that chick Kamala Harris, man, become the president, man, I'm moving out the country. And that's just the reality of it. I, I, I would never try to stop her from being in, in the president. But when she get there, man, she 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 didn't show me, you know, exits, stage left even. Got to get out, man. Got to bounce. See, let me tell you something, brothers. We understand spirituality like a man of God should. And therefore, we don't let our wood lead us into entanglements based on a woman's physicality you see if you're a spiritual man you look deeper into a woman than her physicality because we know that some of the most evil women on the planet were beautiful we know that why do you think men looked on medusa they looked on medusa because she was beautiful but that hair would turn you into something now i know you heard stories about medusa being ugly and all that man nah. we understand spirituality so we can't look at a woman physically. Of course, I mean, we can't just stop at her physicality. That's the difference between us and the average man, man. We look into a woman's inner beauty. We got to see that inner beauty. Because I'm going to tell you, when she first wake up in the morning, you, that inner beauty is going to make that out, gonna have to make up for that outer beauty that's gone first thing in the morning. A certain demeanor that a woman should have. A certain attitude that a woman should have. A certain feminine essence that a woman should have. All they all listen, all she got to have for most dudes is a hot pocket. They all got a hot pocket. The worst ones got a hot pocket. The fives got a hot pocket, the nines got a hot pocket. So you gotta look past that, man. Because that's nothing. All that is 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 the entryway for any evil energy that she has in her to enter into your spiritual essence. Now we get into that spiritual talk. Now we get into understanding the spiritual essence of it now. And a lot of guys don't even want to go that far with it. They don't even look into that part of it. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, man, a hot pocket ain't worth no cash. It ain't worth no money. It ain't worth, it ain't even worth no time any more than they take it to get in it, get off, and get out. It ain't worth no more time than that. It ain't worth no date time. It ain't worth, it ain't worth no nothing. I'm not rewarding a woman with a date just in hopes of when, when I know all I want is high pocket. If all you want is high pocket, there's very little you should do for it. Guy be jumping through hoops just to get some high pocket. And it ain't worth no cash. It ain't worth no time, bro. I, it, there is very little time I'm willing to waste on high pocket. It just got to fall in my lap. Like I told you before, put your money in your pocket and, and, and the women will fall in your lap. She got It just got to fall in my lap. I'm telling you. I'm telling you from experience. If you put your money in your pocket and you carry yourself like an alpha man, and your alpha energy exudes, you know, emanates off of your body, man. Let me tell you something. You exude alpha energy, bro. There is nothing. There's only one thing that's going to happen. You're going to put your money in your pocket and the women going to fall in your lap. Are a lot of women going to fall in your lap? No, not a lot. But there's going to be some that you're going to turn down. And that's then there's going to be some that you're not because you're going to feel the energy. If I don't have an energy connection with a woman, if a woman shows me attraction confirmation and I don't feel no energy connection with her, I'm still not going to holler at her. I'm going to get her number. And you know what happens when I get your number? If I get your number, I'm not calling you. If I want to talk to you, I'll give you my number. If I know I'm not going to talk to you, I'll take your number. And, and just the way I look, my normal look is mugged up enough. Just my normal look. Not me mean mugging, but my, my normal look, I got a built-in mug. A woman ain't gonna ask me why I ain't call her man if she see me again. I gotta look on my face and say, well, he look like he might snap. But I really won't. You know what I'm saying? Not about something like that. She could ask me, but she won't, is what I'm saying. A woman could ask me that. She had, now I gave you my number, why you ain't call me? 
you know, I was like, well, I'm going to be honest with you, Shock. You know, I mean, I just got your number because I thought it was possible that I'd talk to you, that I want to call you, but it turned out that I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's wrong with me? You, you don't even know me. You didn't even get a chance to know me. I'd be like, you know, what's going to change if I get to know you? T- tell me something about yourself that's going to, you know, that spark my interest right now and make me feel like, you know, maybe I made a mistake not calling you. And then I'd get her to run down some shit. Every now and then they'll run down something interesting enough for me to call her. And I say, well, okay, well, you, you take my number then. So I, I say, well, I'll tell you what. You got your phone on you? All right, bam. I'm going to call your number right now. I call her right there, man. Then I give her my number. Other times I'd be like, well, you know, I, I, that, that, that's, that's cool for some guys, baby. But, I mean, it's going to take a little bit more for me. And, uh, you know, this ain't no knock on you, but just me. I'm, I'm just on a much more elevated level than that's going to be beneficial to. So, you know, I mean, but I see you around, Shawty. You know what I'm saying? No hard feelings. And then I just walk off, man. You know what I'm saying? I just keep it a buck. You know, I keep it a buck with women because I don't. The, the thing is this. As an alpha king, I don't care if I don't have no woman. And that's why I, that's why I always have women because I don't care if I don't have a woman. I, like, like literally, I, this isn't a game that I play. I don't run game and try to act like I don't care if I ain't got no woman. I literally don't care if I ain't got no woman because I got enough things to do to occupy my time. Well, really, the only time I need a woman is when I need to, when I need to get off anyway. Like when I when the only time that I actually need a woman's presence is when I want to get off. There is nothing else I do in my life where I feel like, man, I wish I had a woman doing this with me, man. Sure wish I had a woman, man. Man, I sure wish I had a woman. There's only one thing that I need a woman for, man, and I get one when I need that. But other than that, man, I, don't, I ain't nothing in my life, man. I feel like, oh, man, I sure, it sure would be better, man, if a woman were doing this with me. I wish I had a woman with me. Oh, man, y'all know some women I can get with me. I, I don't never, I don't have nothing in my life like that. You know, that's real talk, man. Marcus Theodosius, appreciate the $5 super chat, bro. Say, keep preaching at 100, bro. Salute to you, bro. James Taylor, appreciate the $5 super chat, bro. Say, just checking in, dog. Salute to you, man. Appreciate you checking in with me, homie. C. Rob, appreciate the $5 super chat. C. Rob said, I was dealing with this chick. I told her about something she did I didn't like. She did it again. I blocked on everything. Salute. Man, that, man, that, and I'm going to be honest with you, bro. And I know, now, now this is, this is really going to sound like some asshole talk. But man, I love that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love having the opportunity to show a woman the difference in how an alpha king deals with her and how the average guy deals with her because the average guy is going to maybe not talk to her for a day or two and then he's going to call her then he's going to tell her I really don't appreciate the way man I ain't never told a woman I don't appreciate the way she act if I put a woman on ice man when I talk to her again man I just start talking to her like ain't nothing happen I, I, I listen I do it so smoothly that most of the time they don't even bring it up. And I'll be like, well, what happened? How come you ain't talking to me? I just started talking to a man like everything's smooth, man. You know what I'm saying? I remember the last thing we talked about, and I just pick up from that conversation. I'd be like, all right, so uh, so what happened? I just, or some she told me, I'd be like, so what happened with y'all? What happened with your exam? I just started back talking, man. She'd be like, well, I make it, I make it seem like everything's so smooth and so good that she dare not bring it up and create a sit and, and, and possibly create a situation. So, you know, I've mastered the art of the ice, man. You know what I'm saying? And but now I'm to the point, man, where I, I don't even, you know, I need, I know I said earlier, man, that I, you know, I put them on ice, but that, that's what I used to do, man. I put them on ice for a week, then I put them on ice for a month, man. I just put them on ice now. I don't have no time to play. I don't have no time to play. I put them on, I, I put them on permanent ice for everything. I just don't have time to play. I'm not finna teach a woman anything. The only thing I'm gonna teach a woman is how to please me sexually. But she gotta get to that point first. She gotta get to the point where I allow her to do that. But man, I, I ain't, I mean, I, man, my patience, I don't have any patience when it comes to dealing with women foolishness, man. I don't have no patience at all. And then, you know, you got these, these guys around here doing all this chasing, man, got these women all comforted, man. Cause like if Megan Thee Stallion was a woman for real, man, let me tell you something. Me, myself, man, I'd get a hold to a chick like that, man, and man, and break her mind. I will break her mind. I'm not talking about break her back. I will break her mind. I know you ain't never heard it. I'm the first one to say that. I will break her mind. Literally, I'll break her mind. Whole demeanor will change. Everything will change. Because I know ain't nobody never treated her like I will. And I'm going to do it in such a smooth way that she going to feel like she being disrespected, but it ain't going to be disrespect. 
You understand what I'm saying, man? I'm going to tell you, bro. The bottom line is, man, these chicks ain't came into contact with no Alpha King, man. She ain't came into contact with no Alpha King. And I, will, I ain't going to get into too many subtle things, man, about the interaction, man. But I just think, man, we live in a world, man, where a lot of guys, man, are making it fashionable to chase women. And I just believe that, man, when it all boils down, it's the opposite of the most successful way to deal with women. The most successful way to deal with women, especially when you when you put yourself in a position of high value. I'm talking about high value in a woman's eyes. That's another thing. There's a difference between high value in a woman's eye and high value in your own eyes. They're not the same thing. A lot of guys want to be high value in a woman's eyes because in their eyes, the only way they can be high value is if the woman values them. If you view yourself as a high value man based on how women value you, man, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Let's have a moment of silence for that man masculinity, man. All right, rest in peace to that man masculinity, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it's so, man, it, it is the opposite of masculine for you to value yourself based on women's thoughts of you or how women, you know, uh, uh, let you approach them or how women interact with you or any of that. That means you have no value without your interaction with women. Like your value is very limited if you if you subtract your interaction with women. And that's crazy, bro. Even everything we know about women, man. Even everything we know about about their behavior, about their nature, about uh, about, you know, about their mentality, you know, about their propensity to do this or that, even with everything we know about them, man, there are guys who still value themselves. They assess their own self-value based on the value that women give them which is crazy to me, man. And guys preach that. Guys preach value to other men based on what women want. Women don't even know what they want, man. Women don't know what they want. Celebrity women too, they don't know what they want. Let's look at Black China, man. Black China went from Tiger to Rob Kardashian. Look how different those two guys are. Those two guys are different in every single way. Women don't know what they want. They 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 all go through their phases, man. Janet Jackson went from married to one of the DeBarge brothers to marrying a, 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 a sheik or something, man. Mar marrying one of, those, one of those Middle Eastern guys. Women don't know what they want. So how are you going to let someone who doesn't even know what she wants value you and, and cause that to be the, the, the basis of your self-valuation? It's crazy out here, man. Another thing is this, man. Sometimes she's just not my kind of girl. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes she's just not my kind of girl. It's not your look. It's not your style. It's not the way that you carry yourself. Sometimes, man, she's just, she's just not my kind of girl. You're not my... You're the kind of girl that a man's dreams are made of. Let me tell you something. Y'all listen to that new edition song. You're not my kind of girl. Man, that's a straight up pimp song right there. Homie say, even though you're not my kind, girl, you still so fine. That is what I'm talking about right now. Even though she's fine, she's still not my type. Her, her, her beauty doesn't get her a pass into my life. She's got to be my type. Sorry, you're not my kind of girl. You're the kind of girl that a man's dreams are made of, not a king. I'm telling you, bro, there's some, man, listen, man, there's so many pimp lyrics out there, man. Nobody would have ever thought about that song as a pimp type song, man. But sorry, you're not my kind of girl. But you're the kind of girl that a man's dreams are made of. I'm so pimpish. I'm about to turn down a woman that a man dreams are made of. She ain't my type. Somebody that I don't like. I'm going to pass on to the next dude. Man, that's super alpha. That's an alpha mindset. That's what we talking about right now. An alpha mindset. A true alpha mindset. It's that it doesn't matter what a woman has. If she's not on my level, then she's not going to be on my level. It's the period, man. It's period. It's real simple. But guys don't want to buy into it. You know why? Because it causes you to turn down sex. You got to turn down a bunch of sex, man, to live a truly, a truly alpha life. You got to not be guided by sex. 
James Taylor, appreciate the $5 super chat. Bro, say the A is crazy. These women are nuts. Alpha, save yourself. Real talk, man. Laura Mim knocked the devil. Appreciate the $10 super chat. Bro, say break her mind. That's awesome. The more I learn, I start to realize that's the way to go. I want to call it a cerebral orgasm. Let me see. Keep supplying, keep supplying the medicine for the soul. Good doctor. Salute to you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate the super chat. You know, and that's just the reality of it, man. That's what it is, man. Sometimes she's just not my kind of girl, but simps overlook that for a chance to bust. Simps are led by, 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 by the need to bust. Simps are led by, by the desire to bust. They need to bust, and that's all they go for. Compromising their testosterone levels, compromising their masculine energy, compromising their spiritual essence, compromising their health. And that's, that's real, man. That's real. So, man, I appreciate everybody being in the joint, man. It's been a real one again tonight, man. Uh, we almost we almost bust that grand, man. We're going to get back up to that grand, man. We're going to get back up to that grand. We almost busted tonight, man. Got up to about 9.53, man, and that's – we ain't going to complain about that, man. That's cool. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, this one, man, I'm going to lead this boy up until probably tomorrow morning, man. We'll see because I got, I got enough content to drop on Patreon, man. We'll see. I might leave this one up, man. We'll see. It's possible. It just depends on what YouTube do to it, because I'm not changing the title. The title gonna stay the same. I'm I'm gonna change I'm gonna change males to kings, though. So from now, on, man, I'm gonna tag I'm gonna tag the content, man, with Alpha King, Alpha Energy, Alpha King. So you know, and that's the thing, man. You undervalue yourself and disgrace yourself. You know, you disgrace your own manhood and masculinity for a woman who doesn't value your manhood and masculinity any more than just to leech it from you, to leech the energy from you and then leech all your energy and then go get another man's energy. See, we think women are just promiscuous. No, women are gluttons for masculine energy. They're gluttons for it. You understand what I'm saying? But let me tell you what happens. A truly mask, an alpha man, an alpha king ain't finna marry no woman. I ain't even finna be in no live-in committed relationship with her. So in order to get that energy, she has to go through a lot of men in order to get that energy of that one man. That's why I tell you guys all the time, listen, man, I could be in a relationship with a woman if I could do it. If I didn't want two women or three. But if I didn't want two women, I could be in a relationship with a woman. And I guarantee you I won't have none of the problems these guys have because I'm going to be alpha in it regardless. I'm going to always keep, even if we cohabitate, I'm going to always keep a separate spot. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing, well, when you leave, she's just going to go, gonna be with somebody else. Nah, bro. That ain't how alpha energy works. A lot of guys talk about that, man, because they don't understand how alpha energy works. She's going to spend the whole night trying to find where the hell you are. She's going to be pissed. Any man try to approach her, she's going to snap because she's going to be pissed. She's going to be trying to find where you are. See, guys don't have no alpha experience with women, man. They don't have no alpha experience with women. She's going to spend the whole night blowing you up. Going through that 10 step emotional phase, I told y'all women go through. These guys don't understand the alpha interaction with women. The alpha interaction with women, man, is such an emotional, an emotional control mechanism that most guys wouldn't even think it exists.